Hi everyone, welcome to Bumble, a business messaging platform that lets your team chat and collaborate. With Bumble, your teammates can communicate with each other via instant messaging, group relevant conversations into channels, and work together more effectively. I'm Dimitri, and let's get this demo started. First, I'm going to show you how to make a workspace in Bumble, how to communicate through channels and direct messages, send files and search for them, and how to organize video conferencing calls with your teammates. Also, we'll go through different roles and permissions in Bumble, different notification settings, inviting your external partners, and so on. So let's start. What you see here on my screen is a Bumble workspace. A workspace is a place where all communication happens. When you first create a Bumble account, you automatically get a workspace. A workspace contains all channels, direct messages, people, and different settings that you can set. All that helps you communicate better with your teammates. You can also create or join multiple workspaces. For example, if you have two companies or departments, you can create two workspaces and invite different people to each one. Then you can switch between them as needed. Before we go deeper into Pumble, let's see how you can create a workspace. When you go to the Pumble website and click on Sign In, you'll see a screen like this one, the Pumble registration page. You can either enter your email address or continue with your Google address. In your email inbox, you'll get a code that you should enter in the blank spaces. Once you've done it, you just need to enter the name of your workspace. For example, let's name this company Fixed It. Type it, accept the terms of use, and click on Create Workspace. And voila, you have your workspace. Now you can invite team members to join you. There are a few ways you can do this. The first thing you see on the screen is to share a link with everyone, and they can join you easily. You just need to click on the copy icon and send the link. The second way is to type all email addresses you want in the workspace and then click on send invitations. In this way, the email invitation will be in the inbox of your teammates. Together with the invitation, you can send a personal note to your team. Something like, hey all, this is our new workspace where we'll communicate from now on. The third way is importing contacts from Slack if you have an account there. Click on the import button and import the zip file that you've downloaded from your Slack account. All people and messages will be imported to Pumble in a second. If you want to import your stuff from Slack later, you can do that in workspace settings. Of course, if you don't want to do this, you can skip this step and add your teammates later. Channels in Pumble are public spaces for teammates to share messages and files and to work on projects together. As you can see on the screen, you can create your first channel now. Enter the name and then click on Create. The created channel will appear in your left sidebar together with two default channels, the general and random channel. Next to the channel section, you'll see a little plus sign. By clicking it, you can create more channels. Give them a name, set a description so that anyone who is interested can join. To stay transparent with your teammates, the best way to proceed with sharing information is to create a public channel. If the information is classified, you can create a private channel in the same modal. When a channel is set to private, it can only be viewed or joined by invitation. By default, your team members can create both public and private channels, but owners of the workspace can manage it. There's no limit to how many channels you and your members can create. You can organize channels around projects, departments in your company, or anything relevant to you. In the same way you send messages and channels, you can do it privately through direct messages. Choose your teammate from the list of teammates, click their name in the sidebar, and then start texting. When they reply, you'll get a notification like this, and then you can continue the conversation. These messages are private, and only the two of you can see them. You can also send a private message to multiple people, like this, thus creating a group chat. In case you want to edit a message that you've already sent, you can hover over the message, click on the three dots, and press Edit Message to make the changes. This is perfect for typos. If you wish to delete a message, you also click on these three dots and then Delete Message. The message will be deleted immediately, so no one else can read it. Also, you can save it for later or set a reminder just in case you forget about the task. Another thing you can do is schedule messages. Type the message you want to send like this, and then here you can set the date and time you wish your message to be sent. All your scheduled messages will be available here in your left sidebar. Pumble gives you the flexibility to focus on conversations that matter most to you. Let's take a look at how you can organize the conversations in your sidebar. The sidebar is where you can access channels and direct messages that you're a part of. You can create custom sections and organize conversations in any way you like. Say you want to group conversations related to your team. Create a section, choose a helpful name and emoji, and then move the relevant channels and direct messages into it. As your priorities change, reorganize and collapse sections that don't really need your attention. 
So tailor your sidebar however and whenever you need it, whether it's organizing conversations by priority, client, or anything that makes your day just a little more manageable. Video conferencing calls can be launched from any channel or direct conversation in Pumble. You can start a video call or join one. If you're the one who's starting the call, click on the camera icon and your teammates will be pinged. Before you join the meeting, you can choose whether you want to turn on or off your camera and microphone. Also, the noise cancellation option is turned on by default, so you can better hear your teammates. You can also blur your background in the settings. Once you enter the meeting, you can start it. After the colleague you called accepts the call, you'll see all of your faces on the screen. If you want them to see something on your computer, you can share your screen. Click on the icon for screen sharing right here, and your teammates will be able to see your screen. You'll also see a message that pops up that tells you you're sharing your screen. If you want to stop screen sharing, just click on stop sharing and your teammates won't be able to see your screen. With Pumble, you can create meeting links and start calls and connect with anyone in your workspace. You just need to click on the camera at the top left corner of your workspace and the meeting link will be automatically generated for you. Share the link with team members and then join the call by opening the link or clicking start meeting. If you need another link, you can click on the create new link button and the new link will be created. Share it with your teammates and start the meeting. By default in Pumble, you have unlimited free access to your message history. This means that you can go through all of your conversations at any time. How does this work? For start, let's type a term in the search box. You'll see the term in different channels and direct messages with your teammates. To narrow search results, let's use filters. You can filter by channels and direct messages or by people who sent the search term. Search is useful no matter if you're looking for a specific piece of information or need context regarding some decision. Whatever it is, you'll find it quicker using search. Also, you can search for channels using the channel browser. When you enter the channel browser, you'll see all public channels in the workspace. You can see the discussions inside them and decide whether you want to join or not. In addition, if you use filters, you can see archive channels and hide your channels for a more clear search. While working with your team in Pumble, you may also need to collaborate with files that you've created in other applications. Just drag and drop any kind of file into the channel and send it to the team. You can share screenshots, videos, images, PDFs, documents, and other types of files. Anyone in a conversation where a file was added can open the file, download it to view offline, or share it with other team members in direct messages. When you click on these three dots, you'll have five options. To view more details, copy a link to the file, open the file in a browser, delete it, or add it to saved files. All saved files can be found here, and no one except for you can see your saved files. When the file is uploaded to a channel or direct message, it'll be stored in Pumble. All files uploaded to a channel or direct message count toward the file storage limit. You can browse files added to any public channels, plus the private channels and DMs you're a part of. What if you need to quickly find a file for an unexpected meeting? Files are searchable and shareable across Pumble, making it easier for everyone to find the information they need, when they need it. You just need to jump to the sidebar, click on File Browser, and then start searching for the file you need. You can search for a file by typing the name of the file or a keyword that you want. After that, you'll see a list of files that fit your query. All files will appear with a link preview so that you can easily see what you need before you download the file. To find specific files easier, you can use filters. Now let's see how you can use your notification settings in the best way possible. You'll get a notification whenever someone mentions your name or when you have a new message in a channel. When there's a new message, the channel's name becomes bold. A red badge will appear next to the channel's name when someone mentions you. The mention is highlighted so it's easier for you to spot. Also, when someone sends a message to a channel or directly to you, you'll hear a sound for the new message. If you receive too many notifications, you can mute a channel so that you don't receive notifications for unread messages on the channel, unless you're specifically mentioned. You can mute a channel by clicking on Details here, and then on More, and then Mute Channel. This is one way to control your notifications. You can also control what you get notified about via preferences. You can choose to be notified about all new messages, only direct messages and mentions, or not notified at all. There are a few other ways to customize your notifications. The first is setting a schedule to only get notified during working hours. You can adjust it here by picking the time when you want to receive your notifications. The second is setting a schedule for a focus time at work. When you need some focus time at work, you can pause your notifications for as long as you need anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours. 
you'll only receive notifications during the hours that you choose. Outside of those times, notifications will be paused. If you're away from your computer and have Pumble installed on your phone, you'll receive all of the notifications there too. You have two options to choose when you want to receive notifications on your phone. The first one is to see all notifications on your phone as soon as you're not active on your computer. The second is to receive all notifications on your phone, no matter if you're active or not. Let's see how you can chat with teammates via voice messages. When you open your Pumble app, you'll see this icon in your message box. Click on the voice message icon right here and you'll see this built-in recording modal for Pumble. You can connect whatever microphone you want and it'll then start recording. If you're not happy with the recording, you can press the X right in the corner. And then make a new voice recording by pressing the voice recording icon again. Once you press the button, the recording will start automatically. And when you're done with the recording process, press the purple check mark right here. Your voice messages will be inside of the message box as an audio file. You can still add a message if you want to add some context, a link to something or anything else that you want to send alongside the voice message. When you're done, click send and that's it. Now let's take a look at the video messages in Pumble. Right next to the voice message button, you'll see a video message icon right here. When you press that, it opens up this window. You'll see yourself in front of the camera and then you can press record at the bottom of that window. Once you finish recording, press the stop button and the video message will be saved inside the message box. You can also share your screen and record it. Choose the screen you want to share, start the recording process as described earlier, and your shared screen will be recorded. You'll see a little thumbnail in the bottom right corner. You can choose to add a link, text, or emoji and send it alongside the video message. This was all about how to collaborate with your team on Pumble. But what can you do when you want to collaborate with people outside of your company? Pumble has a solution, Guest Access. With Guest Access, you can collaborate with people from other companies in the same productive way. Instead of using email and writing long chain emails, with Guest Access in Pumble, you have a place to communicate with everyone you need to to get the work done. There are two types of guest users, multi-channel users and single-channel users. Multi-channel guests have access to only the channels that you specify and can be added to an unlimited number of channels. Single channel guests can only access one channel and you can add them for free. Now let's see how to add guests to Pumble. Have in mind that only workspace owners and admins can invite guests to join your workspace. Click on the icon of your workspace in the upper left corner. Then click here to invite members. Now you'll see this window where you have to type the email address of the person you want to add. Click on the drop down menu and choose guest. Choose the channels in which you want to add these guests and set a time limit for which they will be a part of your workspace. You have a few options. Without time limit, from seven to 60 days and custom. Let's say you limit one guest to having access for 30 days. Choose the 30 days time limit from the drop down menu. You'll see a message which shows when the access will expire and that guest will be notified two days before the expiration date. In the case you choose custom, you'll see a calendar in the next box. Choose the exact date when the guest access will expire. After you set all preferences, just click on send and your invitation will be sent to the inboxes of all invited users. After they accept the invitation, they'll be a part of your workspace. In Pumble, there are four different roles and permissions for each of them. First, we have the owner of the workspace. They have the power to manage members and guests, assign roles, invite new users and restrict others from doing so. The owner makes someone an admin or keeps them as a regular user. Admins can manage members and channels, while regular users can primarily chat and manage channels that they've created. And finally, there's the guest role. If you have a lot of users, you can manage them more easily with user groups. Admins and owners can create user groups, assign users to them, and then select which channels everyone in the group has access to by default. You can also mention a user group instead of having to mention each member individually. This can be very useful if you have large teams and people don't know whom to mention specifically. You can also adjust workspace-wide settings and preferences in the workspace administration. There are a set of different permissions like who can use at channel and at here, who can invite new people to your workspace, set it to everyone, everyone except guests, only owners and admins, or just owners. You can also manage different channel permissions like who can create, archive, remove members, and manage posting permissions, like who can create public channels and archive them, or who can remove people from public and private channels. Also manage who can post in channels and who can rename all channels. If you don't want to allow people to change their old messages, you can manage it in the editing and deleting permissions here in Pumble. Choose between different timelines, from any time until one week after posting. And that was the Pumble demo video. 
We hope this video helped you set up everything you need to to get your team's communication on point. For more Pumple videos, be sure to check the description for more relevant links and helpful tips. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.